I'm told that if I walk just one house over, it'll be way steep. And we're seeing that even in houses in their mailbox right here. Now these waters, they're pretty deep, so deep. In fact, that law enforcement says that they had to rescue 54 people from the houses behind me, 13 of their pets, bringing them right up here up to dry land. Sky six overhead giving us a bird's eye view of Spurlock Lane in the Spring Oaks neighborhood of Altamont Springs, just a small leap over from the Little Rakiva River. Nobody was expecting it to get this bad. Kimberly Pena says the water continued to rise through the morning and the afternoon, well after the rain had stopped. When law enforcement showed up to help out, she says she sprung into action. It was hard, but um, it made us feel better that we could actually be there to help people in need and not sit here and just watch and stand around. Jennifer Pena says while her neighbors were being pulled out of these rescue trucks, she grabbed supplies like dry clothing. As I started pulling them out, we had to help them unload a couple babies, some children, a lot of animals, and they literally came with the clothes on their back and a few backpacks, and they even brought dog food. They didn't even bring food for themselves. Pena says several homes have waist-deep water inside, yet some people still refusing to leave tonight. It was honestly heartbreaking because it easily could have been one of our family members or somebody very close to us. And take a look at this mailbox again. I kind of pointed out in my uh, when you saw me last, but that mailbox right there. So that's not that far. That's just one house down from where I'm standing. So that clearly would have it waist deep. Again, residents telling me that there are several homes that have waist deep water. Altamont Springs Police tonight, they're not giving an exact number on how many homes were actually damaged. And of course, the big thing a lot of these people want to know is when this water won't be here. So at this point, of course, with the Little Workiva River, it's unclear when these waters will start to recede. Matt, Lisa? Hopefully soon, Troy Campbell, thank you. And with those streets flooded, all eyes are on the forecast and whether or not it'll rain tomorrow.